is the only country on the planet that has suggested that XRP is a security. The idea that XRP is a security, it has played out there for eight years. You know, it's kind of like, well, if, if it was a security, I guess we should have known that a long time ago. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Turf Hour Script. Let's get right into today's video. We got to finish off today with a triple header. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a wonderful dinner. If you guys are waking up, eat your caviar, wipe your butt with some gold plated toilet paper. What can I say? What a crazy July 13th, 2023. Give your pad. Give yourself a pat on the back. I'm not gonna edit this video. There's just so much going on. Folks, it is very healthy for XRP to see a little bit of a decline, 8%. It, it went up almost 100% today, okay? This is good for the market. I can't even anticipate what's gonna happen within the next 48 to 72 hours. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but today we're gonna go over what Stuart Alterity said, Chris Larson. There's a lot we're gonna go over. This is absolutely crazy. The SEC is crying. You will not believe what the SEC just came out and said, okay? This is so pathetic. You. I personally thought this was a joke, but this is actually from the SEC. Shall we get into it? I tweeted this out a couple hours ago saying it's morning wood time in Asia. Buckle up. These are going to be extra hard this morning. Expect the dollar XRP within 19 hours. The Asian markets have opened up. We haven't seen a big pump, but folks, I'm telling you, this is the calm before the storm. Take a listen to what the SEC said. Stewart went on to say, could not agree more with Katie Bieber. Pathetic statement coming from the SEC today. Take the loss. You earned it. This is crazy. Take a listen to what the SEC said here. We are pleased that the court found that XRP tokens were offered and sold by Ripple as investment contracts in a violation of the securities laws in certain circumstances. The court agreed with the SEC that the Howey test governs the securities analysis of crypto transactions and rejected Ripple's made up test as to what constitutes an investment contract. Instead, emphasizing that Howey and subsequent cases have held that a variety of tangible and intangible assets can serve as the subject of an investment contract. Further, the court rejected Ripple's fair notice argument, noting that the Howey test is clear and that claiming ignorance is not a defense to violating the securities law. We'll continue to review the de decision. Is this gonna go to Supreme Court? Absolutely not. The SEC has no authority here. It, it logically does not make sense for it to go to Supreme Court, but it doesn't even matter. XRP is deemed not a security. Okay, we're going to get into it. I'm going to break it down. Well, Stewart is going to break it down. Chris Larson, we haven't heard from him for a very long time. He admitted, I haven't been vocal on the lawsuits as Brad Garlinghouse and Stewart, but today's a huge win for crypto in the US. Big thanks to all who supported us along the way. And Stuart breaks this down, folks. Take a listen very carefully. A huge win today. As a matter of law, XRP is not a security. And ladies and gentlemen, we've been saying this on this channel since day one. And you guys all, if you guys thought XRP was a security, I that's absolutely crazy. Also, a matter of law, sales on exchanges are not securities. Sales by executives are not securities. Other XRP distributions to developers, to charities, to employees are not securities. The only thing the court found constitutes an investment contract is past direct XRP sales to institutional clients. 
there will be further court proceedings only on these institutional sales per the court's order. So this is where the banks are gonna come together, Ripple's gonna come together, the SEC is gonna come together, and I guess they're gonna figure out how they're gonna proceed with this. But we are not gonna be affected. Going forward, XRP is done. It is not a security, hands down. Clap, ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely crazy. My absolute gratitude to the teams that have been working tirelessly on this matter for over the years, the judge's decision affirms so much of what this industry is fighting for and shows that the SEC does not have unbounded jurisdictions over crypto. Maybe we can start a rational conversation about crypto regulation in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. We are gonna just, oh, I can't even, words cannot describe the mental state that I'm currently in right now. And I can't even imagine what's going on with you guys. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments down below. Go ahead and smash that like button. Update on the Yacht Party coming. We're gonna close this down very, very soon. Once XRP is at $3, I'm, we can't have people just getting into XRP coming into the Yacht Party. Further information will be released very shortly. With that being said, do appreciate it for some winning guys and we'll be back with another video. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.